I'm not going to talk about it. I mean, this bitch is packed as hell. back again for another motherfucking banger and today we are reacting to i love doing this shit <laughs> auntie nita's comedy but this is a two-parter video this is like a two video collage like literally i don't know how to explain it but like one video for i'm gonna do one video first and then the next video after that so we are reacting to our Tunisia com comedies. Can't, fucks, can't speak for fucking shit today. I don't know goddamn why. So, the first video we are reacting to is trying to come back after getting kicked out. Brittany and Roseanne. And then I will be reacting to, after that, is Auntie gonna let Mumu come back? Because, mind you, I'm gonna get you a recap of why this, these, this shit happened. So the way this shit went down is that Moo Moo and Brittany was trying to be fucking fast and left the house. They were running away. Which I don't really like to call it running away because, you know, running away is like childish shit. You know, just call it for what it is. I mean, y'all, I mean, Moo Moo's 18, so she can leave if she wants to. She, she already grown. And Brittany, I don't know how old she is, but either way, the motherfuckers left the house. So they were gone for an hour or so. Auntie came back, found out that they ain't been home for a while now and shit, so she packed their shit and was, I don't know if she packed their shit or her shit, either way, she was packing shit up. Somebody was been to leave that motherfucker out today. When they got home, pissed off, playing the blame game, oh, she did, I'm not dead, I'm not dead. You know how they get down, you know, with the ribs off and shit, you know how they motherfuckers go down. And long story short, auntie's like, well, you don't want to be here. How about nobody got to leave? I could pack my shit. I could get the fuck out. My stimulus came up because her stimulus came up. So she's been planning this shit for a while now. So she packed her shit and she was gone. So now they both try to get back into their good graces with their mamas. Because Brittany, I don't know what happened with Roseanne. Because Roseanne wasn't even there. Now we about to see what went down between Brittany and Roseanne right now. So long short short, I gave you a recap of what went down. So, and those of y'all that ain't seen, go back to Antonita's comedy and check out the videos, the videos right here, right there. I might have it popped up, I might not, but I don't know if I'm looking at the dumbass or not, but right there, y'all know what it is. So, uh, one start let's get in this motherfucker, banger! And now. Come watch me, baby. 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 Come watch Are you kidding me? Then I come home. No, no way. way. I, I didn't do anything. anything. Really? You called your mother a bitch. You got a TCH, and you said you all got to die ASAP. I have nowhere else to go. Well, you know what? That's a fucking you. Duh. Ha! <laughs> call your dad. I can't take it. Shit. Hey, you gotta get the fuck out. You call your mama a bitch? You better be glad you're still breathing. The fuck? All right. 
I knew she would open. She didn't get the back door. That door was unlocked. Are you kidding me? I don't care. It'll teach you to lock the door. What the hell did I say? If you don't get out of here, I'm going to call 911, Missy. Shut up. No, you shut up. I'm still your mother, okay? Where are you going? Uh, you don't hear me talking to you? I have to pee. Rosie! Was that necessary? No, it was not. Now hurry up. Pee and get the fuck out. Shit. You should have just let her piss on the fucking lawn. The fuck? She shouldn't even. Get, yeah, get her. Oh, she's taking a shit. Down in the house, they're taking a shit on my fucking lawn. Treat it like a fucking dog. Get your shit the fuck out, motherfucker. You, 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 you got no business up in there. What? Stop it. I just want to talk. I'm listening. When you said those things to me, you really hit me where it hurts. Yes. Whatever. I can't tolerate it anymore. Uh, I think this is best. If you just go, just go. I don't have anywhere to go. I told you this. That's not my problem. That's your problem. You wanted to call me out That's my name and problem. you hope I die. Did you think about that then, Missy? Really? People no. make mistakes. No. When you do something consistently, it's not a mistake. Exactly. You said what you said and you hear it. So stop being a coward and stand up for your acting. On your shit. I don't care On your to shit. listen to your crap. However, Roseanne, you have to stay me. in the ground. Are you really serious right now? You can't let her How speak to you like that, though. Mother in such See? Way. Me, bitch. You know what? I have trash, trash Yeah, you know what? That's right. Grab your thing to go straight out of the door. And where are you going? To my room. You currently don't have a room. If you go in there and you do that. However, Brose, you have to stay in your ground. Okay, that's enough. All right. Um, however, Brose, you have to stay in your ground, though. You cannot let this girl run over you. How many times have we seen this shit? This is like a repeated thing. The reason why she acts that way is because Brose allows her to act that way. Brose, you have to stay in your ground and you have to say, hey, I'm the parent, you the child. And we are not equals. We ain't none of that. Either you gonna do what I say, or you gotta get your shit. You gotta get the fuck out. Beat her ass. I don't know. Shit. I'm not saying I'm built to abuse and shit like that. I do. I do. I, I don't believe in like abuse, like hammers or shit like that. No, we don't. We don't do all that. I mean, but take us. Take that fly swallow that out to use this and pop it upside her motherfucking head. Take a belt. Take a shoe. Shit. A shoe will do 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 you some good. You just gotta have a good aim. <laughs> Got her in a motherfucker hand. On her back. Shit. She try to run. <laughs> ah! never heard about it. I mean, shit. I mean, I almost got the belt when I was a kid, but I ain't never had no shoe in my ass. No, I never shoot. But hey, that's how most, most, most people do it. But you can't do that nowadays because uh, it's child abuse. And. Motherfucker go to jail if you get your kids. Bullshit. The ones who be saying that is the ones who got disrespectful ass kids like Britney. I mean, I don't know if they if Rose and Britney are like supposed to be white. Because Rose gives me white vibes. 
of how white people be. And that's I'm not even trying to be racist, but that's how that's how most parents be like. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying shit. I'm keeping it real. I mean, she did. They they give me um mother and daughter white vibes, like the white mother and daughter daughters and shit. I don't know. And then Mumu and Auntie obviously are like black of how a black mama would be. Like Roseanne is like what a white mama would be. Like I don't get it. If that was the case, why y'all why y'all black try to like act like y'all white? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Let's get into this next video. <laughs> we just that's a that's a whole nother topic for it. No mama whole nother motherfucking day. So let's get into it. And now. Alright. Here we go. Now. What the fuck? Wait for these ass to stop. Go! I could listen to that all day and I'll be satisfied. Here go Auntie. Who is it? Momo in a scrub. Oh, look at you. You got to do a job, Momo. That's Who the hell is me? Who is me, Ma? What do you want? Cute. She cute. I ain't gonna care. She cute. What the hell do you want? Did I tell you not to come here? What do you have to say? But that's how it is. You should have thought about that. You should have thought about that before you asked me to be drunk. Didn't you want to be drunk? No. Say it all about it. Give me a ticket. Fix your face. What's wrong? Fix your face. What's wrong? Fix your face. The way she says it, it's like. Damn, she just took off. What's with that bag, though? It's like. See, she doing what Brittany did, but she ain't gonna get by with that. And the door's open. Dang. No man. No man. Didn't I tell your ass you can't come in here? Mom, I can't stay over there. I don't give a damn. You should have thought about that before you was running your damn mouth and wanted to hang out with little Brittany. Did I tell you? Don't come in here. Mom, I don't want to be hanging out with her. Since when? Mom, she the one that wanted to leave. I don't want to be there. No, no you, you want. Wait, you wanted to leave. Did I tell you that? Don't bring your ass over here just because I told your ass that you couldn't come through the front door. You think it's okay to come through the back? Because mom's no child. I don't get to, hey, was I your damn mama when your ass wanted to be fast and shit in the street? Did you think of that? What's funny? Close my door, like I said. Didn't I tell you to quiet the hell down? I have neighbors. They just put a motherfucker out across the hall for damn noise complaints. Now, if I get a damn noise complaint, I'm bringing the shit right to your ass. He was just letting me in, Mom. For what? So we can talk about this. We ain't got shit to talk about. I just said what the hell I had to say. Mom, that's the way I went. How much you got? I'll give you 400. We can talk. All right, bet. <laughs> I wouldn't feel like I'll All right, bet. Let's come on over here. Let's see the motherfucking money. All right, you heard this about the money? Watch. It's going to go down like that. Watch. I'm listening. I'm gonna give you $400, y'all got that money. How the hell are you gonna give me $400? And what the hell is this squirrel for? I'm Where you working? I'm a caregiver. What the hell is a caregiver? I take care of the old people, Mom. You ain't have to hide no damn mm -hmm. nice. That's a decent job. That's a decent job. Yes, good pay. Probably good benefits, too. That's what I am. You do a whole lot of shit with nobody knowing, right? That's what I am. Oh, no. This how, is how often do you get paid? Every two weeks. How they, how they pay? Check. She like, fuck all that. How much you get paid? Though? If I don't get my damn money on if the I first don't. every damn month, that damn dope. If I don't get my money on the damn first every month, your ass got to go. Do you hear? And I'm not bullshit. Yeah. Now, we gonna lay some damn rules out. Uh-oh. My house, my room, my house. No damn coffee. AKA my mama. Exactly. Feel like you're so damn wrong, go apply for your own dick. 
Deja vu. This is the shit I go through every fucking day. Just give her a goddamn key. In my damn house. Or go out of those. No, they don't have to be. Yeah, true. I don't like niggas up in my house like I need. What the hell you got an attitude for? Fix your damn face, because I'm not. I'm not going to hide this shit again. Like I said, it's been peace and damn quiet with me by my damn self. And I don't need you coming in here, taking shit up. Do you hear me? Now get the hell out of my face. Damn. She all right with it too. I hope you enjoy it. Y'all hear that? N-I-T-A underscore L-A-S-H-A-Y underscore. And you can also add me on Facebook. Auntie Common. Show Auntie some love, y'all. Show her some love. That's pretty much how Auntie and, B and uh, Auntie did it with Moo Moo. I mean, I mean, it's, it's rightfully so because at the end of the day, Moo Moo did. She did want to leave. It was not, she was trying to say it was Brittany, but really, Mumu wanted to leave. And honestly, I look at it like this. If you don't want to be bothered with all of this, why would you come back? I mean, isn't this why you wanted to leave in the first place? Because you, your mama didn't, you don't like your mama telling you what to do, your mama being all this, your mama being all that, because you know how on TV. Why would you want to come back? If, you have, if you're making that much money, then why don't you just apply to your own goddamn apartment and shit? You know, and tell your leases up or some or some shit. And try to accommodate. Why don't you just try to get your own place or get a studio? Why would you go back to dealing with all that? Like, if you want your own company and you want to deal with your own shit, why don't you just or or is it because your credit ain't built up yet? I don't know. I mean, I'm just I'm just wondering because shit, renting an apartment nowadays is like. Uh, it's expensive. It's expensive as hell. It's expensive as hell. You know, that's why I'm trying to wait. My credit's all the way built up, and I'm saving all this money. And I'm like, I mean, I'm getting different checks. I'm getting my SSI check. I'm getting my um paycheck. And that's pretty much it. My paycheck and my SSI. That's it. That's all I get. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the only two checks I get. And they, and they they come in good well good water money, so you know, I'm just trying to save it up and build my credit and I to move up out of here cause so you don't have to be dealing with your living with your parents because after the day you under your parents do their rules. You gotta be in there and of course certain curfews. I mean I don't go nowhere that much because shit, my friends all been they've been acting funny lately, so it's not like I'm going out hanging out and shit. So, um I've been mostly here, but it's just, I don't like living under rules, okay? I am, I am, when I say I'm ready to move out of my mom's house, I am ready to move out of my mom's house. If I could, I would, I would. If I could move out tomorrow, I'd be packing my shit now. I wouldn't be on here right now. I'd be packing my shit. I'd be motherfucking gone by tomorrow. Because, you know, it just, you know, can't close your door. You know, can't have everybody over like, at your house like that because motherfuckers don't know, wanna don't want everybody to know where you stay at. You know, there's there's rules, and you wanna you wanna be under your own roof and have your own rules instead of living under somebody else's roof. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Those y'all that my millennials, 
Those y'all that are my age, y'all understand, because some of y'all are living with your parents too. Or some of y'all ain't, y'all living in your own place. Congratulations to you. But those of y'all who are still living with your parents, you understand what I am saying and where I'm getting at. Comment down below if y'all if y'all have these these type of these type of issues. Comment down below. I want to hear what y'all gotta say about Smack it. Smack that like button if y'all want me to do more on key videos. And other than otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications for all of the motherfucking bangers. You know this up. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces loud gang. Or should I say, Deuces nigga! Deuces y'all. <laughs>